welcome back guys. Today we're going to be painting Varag Gultua. He's from the Blackhawk Blood Bowl team, he's a star player. Originally I was going to paint an entire Blood Bowl team for this video, but obviously that was not going to work. I wanted to keep it under 12 minutes and I was going to do three models for the video, but the techniques are basically the same anyway, so I thought I'll just stick to this one model. And so let's just jump straight into it. <laughs> Okay, now that my cat's finished her nap and the air is cleared over there, we can start with the skin and, most importantly, the head. We're going to start by filling this gob up with Warlock Purple. Now, as usual, I've given in to that impulse of wanting to build the model completely before painting it. Um, this made this bit a little bit more annoying than it had to be, but in all honesty, it wasn't too bad. Let's put it this way, it wasn't bad enough to make me stop doing it. But there you go. The impulse is just too strong and I can't fight it. Now let's paint his green skin using green skin. Now during this stage I did miss a few spots like his legs. However, I did fix it later. If you miss any spots, don't worry about it, you can always return to them later and finish them off then. After this, I whitened his teeth up using mummy robes. Now we're going to carefully dab a little splish of matte white onto his eyeball. And now it's time for everyone's favourite part, the wash, of which I'm using Soft Tone. I applied this over all his skin and on his teeth and all over his face. Next we're going to apply some highlights with Scaly Hide. I started off with a light dry brush and all the places where the light would catch. Very careful not to get it in his poor eye again. Then, to make it pop, I added some more controlled highlights to the sharpest corners that the light would catch. Oh yeah, and then I used some pure red on his other eye. Okay, now that his skin is pretty much complete, let's move on to the armour. For his armour, we will be using Weapon Bronze, Dark Tone and Plate Mail. I started with Weapon Bronze and painted all the parts that I want to be bronze. I just did one or two layers because I wanted to keep it pretty dark for the dirty bronze effect that I'm going for. Now we're going to use a wash of dark tone to fill in all the shaded areas and also to take away some of the shine from the metal. Next up, we're going to dry brush all of his plate mail using plate mail metal. We're also going to hit up all of the bronze parts to reintroduce a bit of shine to give it that wear and tear look. Like I said in my Blood Bowl coin video, 
do not underestimate the simple techniques. Dry brushing and washes, they can go a long way. So now let's move on to the bones. All we're going to do here is just use mummy robes as a base and then do a wash of soft tone. And yes, that is a shopping list written on my hand. Then, using the mummy robes again, I added some highlights. Now, let's move on to the leather, using leather brown as a base coat, strong tone as a wash, and monster brown for the highlights. And all that's left to do now is just add some finishing touches, such as his hair, some scuffs to his armour, and I'll make the chainmail a more contrasting colour too. So let's get on with the reveal. As you can see, I decided to leave the ghoul off of his shoulder, as personally I just think it looks better that way. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video and maybe learnt something. Um, let me know what you think in the comments below. I will be painting more Blood Bowl related things in the future, so subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you ever so much for watching.